Patino going to St. John's, good thing. And uh, he got a little bit of a head start thanks to uh, UConn because UConn kind of got them out of the tournament real quick. So he got to start his work right away and he's already been, apparently they said he's already started to regionally do his recruiting. Within hours of the announcement, you know, Patino was very upfront and said, hey, most of the guys that are here on the squad, this, you know, 2022, 23, not going to be here next year. They're not a good fit. So he's already made that statement, which is good for him. It's his team. But wow, he's really setting himself up for uh, quite a preseason work that he has to do now and bring in these recruits and or, you know, get people into the transfer portal. Uh, but he's got, what, seven Final Four appearances, two national champions. Resume speaks for itself. You just don't want him to be... Uh, the person that is responsible for lining up uh, dating and things for the recruits when they come to town because that's when the trouble begins.